another important property of all the triangles which of course is also true for right angle triangle as well is sides opposite to equal angles are also equal so let's consider a triangle ABC here if this is a B and C triangle what statement says is sides opposite to equal angles it means that two angles are given that they are equal let's consider this angle A and angle B are equal angles so what we are given here is given that angle A is equal to angle B this is we know what we want to prove that sides opposite to equal angles are also equal what is side opposite to angle B side AC is opposite to angle B and what is side opposite to angle A that is BC now sides now side opposite to angle A opposite to angle A is BC and side opposite opposite to angle B is AC we want to prove that these sides are equal as well we will uh, we will prove will prove that AC is equal to BC this is what we want to prove and this is what is given to us let's call this as 1 in order to prove this what we are going to do if we draw an angle bisector of angle C let's draw this angle bisector angle bisector and this is the angle bisector let's call it CD for this draw an angle bisector angle bisector bisector of angle C angle bisector means that this entire angle is divided into two equal parts means that this angle is same as this angle if we call this as angle alpha and this as angle beta then it is because CD is angle bisector it means alpha is equal to angle beta so draw an angle bisector of angle C such that angle ACD ACD is equal to angle BCD BCD like alpha and beta are same alpha is equal to beta and now we want to prove that this number 2 AC is equal to BC for that purpose we will take advantage of a postulate for equality of two triangles since CD is common since since CD is common to both triangles CD is common so we are now talking about the triangle ACD ACD and triangle BCD BCD and CD is common to both and we can see that angle A is equal to angle B angle A is equal to angle B 
because it was given it was given fact in if you can look at one that's exactly what was given so for now in two triangles a c d and b c d we know that two angles are equal because alpha is equal to beta that's one pair of angle which is which shows that corresponding angles are equal we also know another pair of angles angle a and angle b are equal for both of these two triangles and one side is cd is equal because that's common side so we take advantage of so angle angle side postulate postulate which means that if in two given triangles angle angle side is equal to another angle angle side like if two pairs of angles are equal and a side of two triangle is equal then two triangles are equal so a a s this is called a a s angle angle side postulate suggests that triangle that triangle ACD ACD is in fact same as triangle BCD BCD and this means that AC is equal to BC this means this means this means AC is equal to BC which are corresponding sides corresponding sides of equal triangles triangles these results of geometry help long way to understand and to solve trigonometric questions what we have learned so far in the two properties is that whenever we know that two angles of a triangle are equal we can say that the sides opposite to those angles are also equal for example here if example here is if this is a triangle if this is a triangle here ABC ABC and this angle is 45 degree this angle is 45 degree and we know that this BC side is 6 inch we don't know what is this we know uh, since angle A is equal to angle B this means side BC is equal to AC and because BC is equal to 6 inch so AC is automatically equal to 6 inch so this result really helps a lot in solving trigonometric question and also the previous property which suggests that sum of all the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree.